Let's now dive a little deeper into the importance of effective cost estimating and management. We'll look at how important these skills are to the survival and success of any construction business, to maintain reputation, for safety purposes, to identify and implement any treatments, and to ensure a positive workplace and project environment. Firstly, cost estimating and management are fundamental to the survival and success of any contracting business. The survival of a company depends on its ability to generate profit. If a company isn't generating profit, it won't be around for long. That's the unfortunate reality of it. Profit is the difference between revenue and cost. Revenue is payment from a client. Cost is what we spend to complete our contracted scope, both direct costs and indirect costs. As a construction company, to generate profit, we need to win projects and then deliver them profitably. Unfortunately, this is easier said than done. Construction contracts are usually fixed fee, meaning a contractor is paid what they quote for the job, not the actual costs to complete the works. So if you quote $5 million to build a bridge and it costs us $50 million, the client is still only going to pay us $5 million. On top of this, the construction contracts usually involve significant risk and responsibility transfer to the contractor, meaning the contractor is responsible for all sorts of known and unknowns and unknown unknowns, and it's their responsibility to manage and budget for these. Finally, construction contracting is often seen as a commodity industry, where contractors are selected primarily based on price. Clients often see little difference between contractors' offers other than what they quote. This means the contractor who is underquoted and underestimated risks is likely to win the project. So, how do we do this? Well, we need to use cost estimating to accurately estimate project costs and ensure there is sufficient budget to deliver the works if we're successful, but not overestimate costs too much so our price is too high and we aren't able to secure work. Then, during construction, we'll need to accurately control and monitor costs carefully tracking actual expenditure against planned expenditure to ensure we remain within our budget. Where it looks like we're going to overspend, we'll need to put in place treatments. This will ensure we generate a profit with our revenues being greater than our costs. The next thing we need to consider is our reputation amongst our clients. As a professional contractor, our clients are engaging us to deliver a scope of works under a fixed fee. To do this, we need to be able to properly quote and then deliver works in accordance with that quote. Our clients want us to properly review and understand scope. Then we need to be able to deliver this scope with minimal client involvement to a fixed fee. We need to be able to take on risk and responsibility, properly understand and quote for it. Then to deliver the project in accordance with this quote. What happens if we're unable to do this? Well, we'll likely underquote jobs and need to fight to increase our revenue through variations. We'll have lots of disputes with the client and ultimately a poor relationship. This will lead to us having a poor reputation in the industry. Proper cost estimating and management reflects our ability to take on financial risk and meet our clients' needs. Next, when projects are under cost pressure, it leads to excessive measures to cut costs. This can lead to unintended consequences impacting quality, safety and program. Maybe the commercial team will reject that geotech inspection you needed or you won't be allowed to get that additional temporary fencing to secure the site. Unfortunately, when projects are under pressure, every expenditure is scrutinised and sometimes poor decisions can be made to save money. If you want to see a real-life case study of how these sorts of things can happen, Look no further than the infamous Deepwater Horizon oil spill. The central cause of the explosion aboard the drilling rig was a failure of the cement at the base of the well that was meant to contain the bore. An independent investigation found five examples of where BP had cut costs that contributed to the disaster. Unfortunately, when we put budgets under pressure, some of the cost savings identified may be non-negotiables and our savings may lead to bigger problems. Next. Understanding, monitoring and controlling our budget gives us a lead indicator as to what our performance is going to be. We can understand where and by how much we are overspending. This allows us to identify a cause, understand it and then rectify it. We can be proactive and deal with things before they occur rather than being reactive and dealing with things after they occur. This is a form of superpower. Where we are overspending the budget we can plan and implement treatments and correct course to hopefully bring the works under budget. As an example, 
On a project I was working on, there was a significant amount of trenching and mechanical excavation. We were working in the middle of a busy suburb and there were utilities in the ground everywhere. As a control, to avoid digging up a power cable, gas line or telecommunications conduit, we would non-destructively excavate around services using vacuum excavation. This is where we use NDD or vacuum excavation trucks to suck out the ground around services so we can safely dig past them. Our budget for NDD was going through the roof. We re-forecast our cost to complete and found that what was driving this figure was poor survey data, meaning we couldn't rely on the surveyors to safely mark out and identify where assets were located, often requiring us to NDD them two or three times. As a consequence, we got the surveyors to fix up all the data and provide us a better set out and location of existing services to reduce costs. By understanding our budget, we identified a cause and put in place a treatment to reduce our overspend. Projects under financial stress are stressful. There's nothing worse than managing cost codes that are over budget. Every single decision and dollar will be scrutinized. You'll often be forced to push back unfairly against subcontractors, not be allowed to do things properly and get torn apart in monthly cost reviews. Usually, this is because the budgets the delivery team were given to deliver the works under were unrealistic to begin with. So, while this may not seem as significant as safety or business survival, there's nothing fun about working on a project that doesn't have a proper budget and little control of...